guys, my name is Shanice and this is Keanu, my blue throat will call. Welcome to The Parrot Life. In this video, I'm going to be talking to you guys several autumn tips for birds. So now that we are transitioning seasons into a little bit more cuddly, cold autumn season, I'm going to be talking to you guys different tips on how to care for your birds during the fall season. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel. And Keanu, do you wanna say something before we start this video? He says, please subscribe. Okay, you guys, well, keep watching to find out the tips on autumn care for birds. So people think that, okay, it's autumn, it's cold season, now I don't need to shower my bird. Number one tip, showering. So showering still stays the same. To those people who don't have birds, like this is all type of birds, cockatiels, budgies, to large macaws, to cape parrots, to medium-sized birds, all birds need to shower in autumn season as well, just because it's cold it doesn't mean that you don't need to shower your bird anymore like humans we get dry well i do get dry in the, the autumn season so you need to put a lot of moisturizer so same for birds not you don't put moisturizer but you need to shower them daily and keanu loves showers so the best time to shower is in the morning yeah. or afternoon, early afternoon. So the sun is still up because now the days are shorter and the sun, you know, goes down quicker and they need to have, um, they need to dry out. So number one tip is showering so they can prevent all the dead skin cells and they can molt better for their feathering and they look more shinier and more refreshing and Literally showering is good for their mind to just to relax. You know, it's like us taking a nice shower. It relaxes our mind. Same as birds, like they need to shower daily and daily more. The shower is more the better. You can shower your bird multiple in one day. Um, it doesn't matter. So m the more the better. So definitely autumn tip showering. Number two tip is diet. So the diet still stays the same. Um, they need a lot of calcium. So obviously if your bird is lacking calcium, you need to go to the doctor. African species, African species like Noah, um, they lack a lot of calcium and African grays. So remember to consult your avian vet first and you can incorporate like vitamin powder into their dishes, but but the diet still stays the same. And you need to have a natural feeding system for your birds. And you can go on Bird Tricks' channel. I did a channel, I mean, I did a video on the diet. Um, I went to the farmer's market with Noah, picking some fresh veggies. So diet is also, I feel like that's gonna be number two. That's gonna be super important. The diet still stays the same. You need to have vegetables included, some a little bit of grain. You can go on the birdtricks.com website and see how they make their natural feeding system. Jamie does a great job. You can go on to her YouTube channel on how to make your own natural feeding system, uh, obviously followed by the bird tricks recipe. But during the autumn season, it's important to keep your birds healthy because we are entering the cooler season. They need to have a lot of nutrition in their body. So definitely diet will be number two. This is literally a perch that fell in half. So now I can keep Keanu busy. My birds, like they bit it off. But number three is to keep your humidity level. So the humidity level, so these guys live in humid areas, natural habitat, and you need to keep, you need to do your room the same temperature as well too. And let me see the humidity levels. I believe it's between 30 to 40% is ideally for a healthy bird. And to achieve this, you can use a humid fire, but you have to be very careful of humid fires. I don't recommend that usually, but if you're having a humid fire, um, you need to constantly clean it. So I do know people who use humid fires, but you have to change the filter often for the mold and bacteria. And another quick way and temporary way to increase humidity is by using a fine mist sprayer. 
But honestly, for the humidity part, you can, I feel like showering your bird is really good. I feel like um, this humidity part, you don't want your birds to be dry out. So number three is going to be humidity. Check for your temperature control. And now number four, I'm going to be talking about temperature control. Now that it's cold season, be careful of setting your bird cages near a window. So if there is a creek, our, bird, our windows don't have a creek, but if there is cold air coming out, especially during the winter time, fall season, then you know, it can, they can be cold. And naturally they should be in a 75 degrees temperature room for a sleeping cage and daytime cage like this. I don't put the AC anymore. We have wood flooring and this room does get cold in the um, winter, but that's why it's also good for the summer so they don't get hot. But now that we're transitioning into autumn season, these guys have to be around 75 degrees and my bird friends actually recommended that too. I feel like 75 degrees is perfect for them. It's not too hot or not too cold. Definitely not too hot, so yeah. Because you know, if you put on the heater, that's, you know, they can be dry. So definitely don't make your heating system too warm for them or else that's gonna be too hot. So definitely I highly suggest, I suggest 75 degrees. So be careful on the temperature room changes during the autumn season. The next tip I wanna give you guys is hormonal season. So behavior changes, right? These guys can be more loud, more vocal when my red friend McCall he gets more hormonal season. He gets super loud and super cranky. Don't fly away. And their vocalization might be louder. So definitely keep in mind of their behavior changes. You know, it's not their fault. It's just the season. Sometimes it makes us cranky. Like it's like girls, like the whole cycle that we get, we get cranky. So it's the same for these guys. They can get cranky too sometimes. So definitely to help keep your bird <laughs> non-aggressive during hormonal changes, it's good to give provide a lot of toys. They need a lot of toys. I recently bought a lot of autumn um, toys that I'm gonna be unboxing. I'm gonna do a different unboxing video. I love Feather Beautiful. This is the company. I love Feather Beautiful. There's a lot of toys that you can get for them to provide a maintain a healthy, happy life for them. So definitely if there are any behavioral changes, I highly recommend toys, always switching them out and having different toys to select for them because they can go through toys pretty fast. And having the same toy, they can get bored. So definitely switch it out often. You don't have to do it every day, but maybe like every other day if you want to, if you think that there's behavior changes. <laughs> he has such short attention spam. So if you guys have any behavior changes for your birds, list budgies, cockatiels, you need to change their toys constantly. So that would be another tip, behavior changes and toys. Last tip is going to be cleaning. So I honestly clean almost every day. You have to clean every day. But now that it's getting cooler weather, it can be hard to remove stuff um, of like the birds poop stain or anything else. So definitely cleaning, I highly recommend doing often because if you have a humid fire, air purifier, if the birds are molting, it can be molting season. You need to clean out your bird's cages because there can be a lot of feathers, dust. So definitely constantly <laughs> cleaning will be a key to provide a healthy relationship with your bird in the autumn season. Let me just get this perch so he can chew on it but definitely cleaning will be a huge step and also definitely deep cleaning will be good you can shower their cages they definitely need to shower their cages obviously you can wipe too you know um with a bird poop remove stainer and just scrub their cages but definitely cleaning will be very beneficial and you know vacuuming and stuff like that because even on a daily basis they make a lot of mess so during the fall season, you know, it can be allergy season for us. Maybe that's spring, but definitely when the, um, you know, leaves change its colors, they can be allergy season. And same for birds, like birds can get allergies. 
So for example, with us, we have cockatoos and they provide a lot of dust. And I have to, that's why I constantly clean because macaws can be allergic to cockatoos actually, no doubt. So, um, you know, their cages are not closely the same, but I'm very aware and I clean their cages daily, like today. I should have took a video, but I will take a video next time of my routine. I should do like a morning routine video, but that'll be next time. But I feel like that's it for all the bird care tips for the autumn. Um, I'm going to be doing a different video, maybe, you know, maybe doing different autumn videos to help provide you guys um, have a happy relationship with your bird. There's different autumn tips that you can do, like food, you can bake stuff, like they can definitely eat pumpkin, but there's different tips on how to make that. But anyways, this is going to be an autumn tip for birds, parrot care tips, and budgies and cockatiels. If you guys like this video, please thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Yeah! Tana, do you want to say something? He says, please subscribe. Thank you for watching my channel. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!